be hearing all about it in a moment. Yeah, the reason why Alex has got her waggy finger out there is because we know that many people download music without paying for it. Much of the annoyance of the record companies. The same, though, goes for subscription TV. And Nick has a story of how the law is closing in. The shutters are coming down on another day in Middlesbrough. But for Brian Thompson, business is the last thing on his mind. To be fair, I think there's a good chance uh, I might get a prison sentence, but looking at the odds, I'd probably say 10%. Tomorrow, the Teesside traders being sentenced for advertising and selling modified set-top boxes. These boxes are pre-loaded with software, which allows free access to pay-per-view TV. The only problem is, that's against the law. And here at Teesside Crown Court, the judges said he'll be keeping all options open, which for cut price Tomo could mean a hefty fine or even jail. When Brian was first charged back in 2015, he pleaded not guilty because, he said, he wasn't the one who'd actually preloaded the boxes with streaming software. It was touch and go whether it was legal or illegal. Because they said it was a grey area, I, I went for the other side and, and I was wrong. The media was quick to pick up on Brian's case, with some suggesting a not guilty verdict at trial would be a legal landmark for sellers facing similar charges and for people buying the boxes. Online technology journalist John Porter has been following the case closely. So there was this hope that Brian Thompson's case would maybe clarify the position of people buying these boxes, people selling these boxes, to kind of really have something kind of set down in stone that this is illegal. But as Brian's case was going through court, wheels were turning at much higher levels. In April, Europe's top judges ruled that if you buy or sell these set-top boxes or even watch pirated content on them, then you're fair game. And here in the UK, a new 10-year jail sentence was imposed for the very worst offenders. Soon after, Brian changed his plea. I had to plead guilty because I'd, I've never denied selling the boxes. I've always admitted, I just denied adapting them. That, and that was my argument. It is law now, they charged me for it and I, I pleaded guilty to it. So I'll, get, what, I'll get, get what's coming to me, it's as simple as that. For some, the case is still a turning point in the debate over streaming. It's definitely a chance for copyright holders and the Federation Against Copyright Theft to really hammer home this point that illegal streaming can get you into really serious trouble. And in Newcastle across the Tyne Bridge... And it's the morning of sentencing, and I'm meeting up with Brian as he gets ready for court. How are you feeling? Well, a little bit, probably a little bit nervous, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. Do you not think you've got a responsibility not to be selling these boxes, or to at least find out exactly whether or not they were illegal? I didn't look at it as I was selling illegal content. I just looked at it, I was selling a box, and it was up to the individual what they watched and what they tuned into, basically. Do you regret all this now, Brian? Of course I do, but you can't turn back the clock, can you? As Brian arrives at Teesside Crown Court, the press are gathered outside. For them, Brian's sentencing is big news. But they're in for a long wait. Six hours later, it's all over. Well, Brian Thompson has just got out of court. He's escaped jail. The judge gave him an 18-month suspended prison sentence, and Thompson also faces paying tens of thousands of pounds in compensation. Now, the judge made it very, very clear that the next person convicted of a similar offence may not be so fortunate. I caught up with Brian after the hearing to find out what he thinks of the judge's decision. You're sending a strong message out there, and I don't know how much it's financially it's going to cost me. And even when I, I'm running a successful business now and I start picking it up, I've still got the burden of that order. So, what does all this mean? Well, Middlesbrough Council told us recent cases in European and UK courts clearly show that there is no grey area in the law when it comes to illegal streaming. As for the Federation Against Copyright Theft, they say the law is now black and white and those who sell preloaded boxes are not Robin Hood characters, but criminals. So, what now for the Teesside trader? I'm going to run a successful business. No more dodgy dealing? No more dodgy dealing. At the time, I didn't think it was dodgy, but the judges have ruled it it is. I put my hands up to him, and I'm over. The thing is, people have always looked to get around paying for stuff, haven't they? Mm. Whether it's CB or music, 
mixtapes, for example. I'm guessing, Greg, Dotter, you have a stack of mixtapes at home from years gone by. Legally, legally. Yeah. Claimed. <laughs> well, like, you recording know, the radio. And exactly. Yeah. You'd record the top 40 on a Sunday, wouldn't you? Yeah. 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 Does it does it count? Does my nan still uses Video Plus, <laughs> so she was still she probably get put in prison she's for recording, re recording the one show. She's been in jail now. On VHS. Didn't mean to, but she's been highlighted. Yeah. They're, they're yeah. coming for her now. They're coming for you, Joan. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Joan. We move on. Yeah. Um, so just two days to go.